up guys, Patrick Barker, James Stewart's mechanic, JGR Toyota Yamaha team, and uh, you can look around James' bike. Uh, this bike, opposed to last year, is uh, obviously more of a, I would say a works bike. We've done a lot of work to meet James's needs as far as rider comfort on the bike. Uh, Yamaha stepped up a lot this year and they're helping us out a lot and uh, giving us a little more support so we're working real closely with those guys. But a lot of the I would say works parts on this bike are, are more for James's comfort. You know obviously the tank and shrouds and stuff people have seen at Anaheim 1. Uh, it's all allowing James to be more comfortable on the bike. Basically, uh, we took our bike down with James and tested originally, and uh, he said the bike was really good. He'd just like to change a couple things rider comfort-wise to get, he rides really far forward and over the bike anyway, you know, everybody knows that, and uh, so he just want to be able to get a little further forward on the bike, and to accomplish that, we basically narrowed the radiators up a little bit, uh, the tank is a little more laid down, the air box is slimmed up, and the shrouds are also slim to go with that, so it basically just moved the front of the bike as far as rider cockpit area, a little more forward, and kind of narrowed it out just to give him that comfort. The, the gas tank is hand built though, the, machine, the pieces are cut out in a laser jet at the NASCAR shop, and a guy that's a welder at the NASCAR shop, Shane Love, he does the tanks by hand, I think it takes him somewhere between 10 and 12 hours to do the tanks. Uh, Dean Baker and Sean Ulikowski, they do all our engine stuff in-house, uh, we use Henson clutch components obviously. Um, James kind of likes a pretty hard hitting bike. Uh, we mellow it out with a 49.2 sprocket on the rear, but uh, he does like the bike to have a lot of power. Uh, he really rides the bike in the meat of the power. You rarely hear him like, hear him over rev or anything like that. FMF exhaust, you know, George and Little D and all the guys over there, they really do an awesome job with it. They work real closely with Dean and uh, they send us stuff all the time. We're always dyno and testing, getting better with those guys. Um, the stuff that we built is for this bike. Uh, we've got a couple different versions we play with, depending on track to track. Obviously last week track conditions were a little different. This week we've changed the setup just a little bit. Um, also they've changed up for us a JGR version and it's going to have the silver woven carbon for the end cap there. James is, uh, he likes the suspension stiff obviously when you're going that fast and uh, you know obstacles and stuff you needed to hold up. Um, so yeah, we have uh, show of forks on the front. They're 51 millimeter forks, something new we did for this year, uh, a little bit bigger. Last year we were at 49s. Um, we did that, and also uh, we're at, uh, I guess you would say the third stage of our shock. Uh, it's a JRI shock. They, uh, they work real closely with us and our NASCAR team, and this is a newer version of it. And we've actually got another version that's going to be coming out later in the season for the guys to try. And this year we switched to uh, switch to DID rims. They uh, they have a couple different setups for us. We have some rims that are a little lighter. We have some rims that are a little stronger and stuff for outdoors and for practicing. So it's pretty cool to have options with that. Uh, Kite hubs. They sent us a set over and we tested those out this year and they're really good actually. We've uh, been real happy with them. It's cool to get some color in the hubs and change that up a little bit. And uh, they work really good. The uh, he runs obviously Renthal 996 bar. Uh, he runs a medium half waffle grip. Uh, controls, you know, a lot of people have obviously noticed James uh, runs his controls pretty far down compared to most riders. We also run a, a rubber bar mount damping system up there. It's a uh, X Trig makes the bar mounts. And the red rubbers that we use for James are actually a little stiffer than most. He uses that so it doesn't feel quite as much feedback to his hands. He kind of deadens it up a little bit. Yeah, we're running Pirelli tires again this year. We went down and, and did a lot of testing in the off-season with James and uh, got him pretty happy with him. And we did some testing, obviously, after Anaheim and came out and he's found some pretty good setup and it's going to be good. James as a rider is, is pretty particular. He knows what he wants. He knows what he's looking for and the feeling of a bike. Um, not super picky, I would say, uh, as far as chassis and stuff like that, suspension. He, uh, he knows what he's looking for in that area and same with the engine. But uh, he's actually a pretty easy going guy, easy to get along with, a lot of fun to be around and uh, makes it fun to watch. Alright guys, that's it. That's the ins and outs of James' bike. Uh, check out number 7 on the track this weekend.